Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Zan and you are watching Flying Zan. This is the place where I teach you how to make planes that will blow your mind. Today we are going to fold Megatron. This is a glider. It's, uh, it glides very far and what's new in this glider is that it's locked. it locks itself. So if you can see, uh, the fuselage does not come apart. So it locked itself which reduces uh, the drag a lot which helps the uh, plane to fly far away and this also as it locks itself it does fly away and it uh, it has also it also has a very impressive wingspan so let's see how we fold it so all you gonna need to fold megatron is an a4 size sheet of paper so our first fold is pretty simple just take this edge and fold it over to this edge so this is going to be pretty simple for you so try to get this whole thing symmetrical so that's done so if you are a pro in paper planes so you can just fold a little bit because this fold is a reference fold but if you are on the beginner side so just crease it all the way because it is going to uh, this is going to be a ref ref reference fold so the reason i told you to crease it all the way if you're a beginner so that you get this these folds correct because these fold depend on the crease we just made so even this is a reference fold for, uh, reference fold now this fold which we are just going to make is the main fold so just crease it all the way and just flip it over and just uh, this is the main place where you have to leave that so just see if the whole thing's correct if not that's totally okay just correct it now so now just uh, fl uh, flip it again and just ma match this side to this side so again get everything nice and symmetrical so now that's okay that's done so now what you have to do is just open this up and you can see we have a nice center crease so this is the center crease for the plane that's if you couldn't tell so now what you have to do is make an imaginary line from this place to this edge so our point of the uh, like the leading edge of the main point of the plane should be here at the uh, crease and the rest is pretty simple you can just use this point <coughs> this flap is there you can just use that as a reference to fold the wing uh, or not the wing actually but uh, the main body of the plane so this is going to be the wing but it's gonna require a little bit of more folding again do the same on the this, uh, same on the other side so now that's done so now you can see that we have a pretty big triangle here so now what we have to do is just grab that triangle and push it up so now get the center crease exact these creases exact and now so that main thing is done now get that symmetrical again so now that's done too so yep that's done so now what you have to do is just take this uh, this flap push it uh, make it uh, uh, you, what you have to do is basically just a squash fold so your flap was like this just push it over and just do a squash fold so what we our main purpose is just getting this edge flat so now that when that's flat so what you have to do is just take this edge and now bring it over the center crease so our next fold is basically just a uh, very bad plane because now the next fold is actually disobeying one of the laws of paper planes which is symmetry so the next fold is basically just so you don't have that uh, so you can't do anything for this flap now so just make the crease so that's done now now you can see that we have done the main thing now all that's left 
is to make room for the flap to enter so we got to give this some uh, give this cre nice crease because this is uh, actually intru uh, intruding out of the plane's body so now that's done now what you do is just uh, now you have to make room for this to come so you can uh, you can do that by just seeing that the so the main flap was like this i just did it like this so you can see that my uh, flap wouldn't uh, enter it totally so you, i can i will just fold it a little bit more and another thing is that you can see that this piece of paper is intruding this whole flap so i'm going to unfold the whole thing and just taste it again so again just try to do that whole thing again because it's very easier for the creases to be seen now so now just take that whole flap and just push uh, push it into uh, push it into the flap or the uh, area where you should so this can be a very tricky so be patient why because the whole thing is pretty uh, like pretty fragile as I can say yes it is pretty fragile because this whole flap is pretty uh, so we have a lot of folding done so it's strong but this is just a single sheet of paper now all that's left is making the wings so making the wings are pretty simple just uh, you have to use this uh, this point and match it over to this point so it's okay if it's not exact because it shouldn't be exact because we need a little bit of an area to throw the plane but it's okay then so now all that's left is just folding the winglets and the folding part would be done so uh, if you saw the uh, picture in the beginning of the plane so you saw that this plane does have very broad and big winglets so that's a speciality so because the plane is uh, so long it is going to be uh, so even if you put some dihedral i'm just going to go on that point uh, so even if you put dihedral it is going to be drooping at the end because the wings are so broad and the paper cannot handle that much weight so these winglets provide a little bit of dihedral to the plane so that it's pretty uh, so that it's okay to fold so yep that's okay so now the main adjusting for this plane is lots and lots of up elevator so just try to get that pretty exact because this uh, this plane has a lot of weight in the front of the nose so that's the main place where we have done the folding and uh, just push this uh, edge a little down so that we have a little airfoil shape so that's all the uh, adjustment you have to make right now but another adjustment is the aileron and the rudder so suppose your plane is going this way so you just make a little bit of an adjustment just give a little bit of up elevator here on the direction you want your plane to move and the aileron is suppose your plane is moving here just uh, give a little bit of up elevator here uh, here so that it equalizes the force and you have uh, the whole thing so that my friend is uh, friends I, uh, this is a completed megatron a magnificent flyer and a beautiful plane so now let's see how it flies
as you saw megatron was a very good flyer but as it is a glider i would prefer uh, to fly it indoors because uh, to get the best performance uh, so but at the end it's your choice so if you like the video please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you